Hello, my name is Eric Cromwell. I'm the coordinator for elementary science coming to you from my humble office here in the Jefferson building uh, in the middle of Towson. Today is a huge day for the Office of Science. Today is the return of our Safe Racer event. Safe Racer began for us almost 20 years ago and was created by the Baltimore Museum of Industry. During our first year, we only had a few cars run, but over the years, participation by schools has gotten over 100%. That is nearly 100 cars racing every year. And talking to students who have graduated from BCPS, Safe Racer is a memory that many of them have, and a few can even describe their cars to me. Over the years, Safe Racer has become part of the BCPS curriculum for third grade students. And it's changed quite a bit since our adoption of the next generation science standards. Now, in addition to learning about engineering, students also learn about balance and unbalanced forces. Of course, this all changed in 2020. We were only a few weeks away from running our latest event, but had to cancel it due to the pandemic. Over the last year, as I traveled to schools, before students return, I would go to the office and see the 2020 cars still waiting for their chance that didn't come. Knowing how memorable this event was for our students, we wanted to make sure there was a way to make Safe Racer happen in 2021. Early in the year, the Baltimore Museum of Industry reached out to us with the idea to run the event virtually. Three minutes. After a lot of work, we were able to figure out how to manage the event and stream it live to you today. However, the real work fell to the students and teachers who took on the challenge. We were able to supply the schools with the materials, including wheels, axles, tape, even a plastic egg. As students returned to the building, some students were able to build their cars in schools, while other students built their cars at home. To make this a real learning experience, the students were challenged with creating a prototype car and testing it. The group students then collaborated with their teacher, who they taught and generated a design to represent their school today. Engineering by collaboration is at the heart of what today's event is all about. Today, we will run over 40 cars representing schools from all over the county. Each car will be put through two tests. The first test is a distance test to determine stability of the design. The car will descend down a ramp set at a 30 degree angle. Once it stops rolling, we will record the distance. For the second test, cars go down a similar ramp only to smash into a wall at the end. At this point, safety features of the car will be tested on a raw egg. You will be informed if the egg survived the test by seeing a safe or splat sign. After all the cars are tested, we will announce this year's winner based on a combination of distance and safety. The winning school's name will be forever engraved on our traveling trophy and reside at the school until the next year. As you watch today's event, you will see four views simultaneously. At the top left, you will see the two distance ramps. These will be labeled ramp two and one. The names of the schools pictured in the lower right correspond to who is racing at that moment. Once the cars come down off the ramp, you will then see them go past camera two at the top right. The tape markers on the floor denote distances in 10 foot increments out to 40 feet, just for your reference. One of our on-site volunteers will use a measuring reel to record the actual distance. After distance is measured, the cars will move on to the crash test. With all that said, now coming to you live from the Baltimore Museum of Industry, I am happy to present the 2021 Safe Racer event. And here we are live from the halls of the Baltimore Museum of Industry. Good morning, Baltimore County Public Schools. We are so happy to be here this morning. We're going to have our Safe Racer event. I'm sitting here with our traveling trophy. By the end of today, one of the schools competing today will be walking away with this trophy, which we will deliver to your school come Monday morning. So on your screens at this point, you should see four different views, which I talked a little bit about. Just going to go back over again. The top left, you can see the starting line for our distance test, lanes two and one labeled there. 
in front of you, I have in front of me here, I have which schools are going to be going at a specific time so you can see when your school comes up. In the lower left hand corner, you can see kind of halfway down the track and each of those tape markers denotes uh, about a 10 foot distance So we're looking at about 30 feet there. And it gets, if you get much past that you're going to be almost out to 40 feet and then. Uh, where you see that uh, target there at the bottom, that is the crash test. And you'll either see the safe or splat sign based on how well your egg survives that crash. So without further ado, I think we're ready for our first set of cards. So Kingfield Elementary and Battle Grove Elementary, are you ready? Here we go. Whoa, uh-oh. I think we lost a passenger. The car goes. Wow, good long distance there. Did the egg break? No breakage on the egg. Oh, the passenger survived. Okay, so we got our first distance. 13 feet. That was for uh, Kingsville. Kingsville's 13 feet. Battle Grove. What was it again? 43, 43 feet, 11 inches. Great start to the morning. All right, we're going to get ready for our first crash test here with Kingsville. Ooh, solid hit. And the result is safe. All right, Kingsville. And let's see what Battle Grove gets. Battle Grove, here we go. Ooh. All right, great start. All right, so up next. We have Bear Creek and Logan Elementary School. Lane one will be Bear uh, will be Bear Creek and Lane two will be Logan. Okay, when you're ready, let them know. Okay, we're gonna probably run one of those again. Go ahead and run that one again. Yep. To try to give them another shot here if they spin out sometimes there's variables that we can't account for in the ramps and the floor so we try to give them an even shot okay well that's very safe car <laughs> okay so we got one two So we got a distance on lane two. So that's Logan's car. And for lane one, Bear Creek, what was their distance? 15 feet, one inch. And Logan, 2.5 feet. Okay, Bear Creek's crash test. Safe. All right. For Logan, here we go. Ooh, splat on Logan. So keep thinking about this. What? How can we improve our models? What are the things you're seeing that are that are different about the cars? Oh yeah, we're gonna have scrambled eggs and omelets tomorrow. All right. All right. Coming up next. Let's see here. Coming up next, we have Carney in lane one and Lutherville in lane two. When you're ready. 
Whoa. You want to run that up? Oh, did that flip over? Oh, oh, we had an ejection. Let's try that one again if the egg survived. Uh oh, yeah, I think that's worse. <laughs> So that's lane two. 29 feet for Lutherville. Carney, what was this? This is Lutherville's crash test. Ooh. Well, if it's not cracked, does the passenger survive? So we're going to call that save. A low impact uh, experience for that one. No deceleration trauma or a very strong egg, I, I, either or. Oh, oh, Cardi's already cracked. Cardi's already cracked. Well, give it a crash anyway. See if we can get the egg scrambled. Ooh. Wow. Did I, it was like shell ejected off of that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, did it break yolk? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ow. That was Ooh, that's going to leave a mark. Oh, All right. Hey, this first attempt in learning, folks. Here we go. All right. Oh, yeah, we got to, we got to do a little, ooh. Oh. Nasty. Oh, give that a wipe down. Yeah. Whoa, we need some chives and some onions in that yet, I think, to have a good one. All right. Up next, we have Carol Manor in lane one and Padonia Elementary School. Hey, and Padonia, you are still the current world record holder for distance. So I expect big things from Padonia. All right. Carol Mena Padonia, when you're ready. Looks like Padonia went pretty good there. We had a little bit of flippage on Carol Manor. I think a couple of car parts came off too. Oh, he lost a wheel and an axle. Oh, my. All part of engineering. All part of engineering. Yep. Okay, so this is Carol Mayer coming down. Oh, that's Padonia. Oh, Padonia had the crash. Oh, my. Padonia Elementary goes, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> well, actually, did it survive? Yeah, it stayed, the egg is actually below the region of the car. So it actually, it, hey, you guys improved. So you did your car on your long distance car, it actually cracked the egg on the crash test. This time it didn't go real far, but the egg survived. All right, Mr. Dunphy, what was your distance? 17 feet, 12, 11 inches for a Carroll Manor. All right, we're going to get their uh, crash test in here. Ooh. Black. Oh. oh my. Well, the yoke's on them. <laughs> that, that, that joke. There we go. All right. So next up, we got Catonsville and Perry Hall. OK. 
Okay. Catonsville and Perry Hall, when you're ready. Wheels everywhere. Uh-oh, we had a disassembly at a yard sale at the Safe Racer event. Okay. Did Perry Hall go as well? Okay, they both went. Six for Perry Hall. Catonsville. Four, four. four feet, four inches. Four feet, four inches. The baby gators. Yeah, this is Mr. Werner's alma mater. Nice bounce back. I like that. Good bumper. Nice engineering. Cool. Save those baby gators. This is Catonsville coming up here. Here we go. <laughs> Double checking the, the safety of the egg here. Safe. All right. Yeah, make sure we wipe that down so we're not accusing someone of a bad uh, of bad yokage. All right, before we race the next cars, if you haven't been to the BMI lately, as soon as they get open, it's a great museum, lots of great exhibits down here, uh, right on the waterfront, absolutely gorgeous. You're probably getting a little bit of light over here from the uh, from the bay, from the big windows down here, great venue. So as soon as they open back up, you gotta get down here and see this. It's a great place and they've been a great host to us and a great inspiration for a safe racer. So coming up next, We have Chapel Hill and Pine Grove. Okay, Chapel Hill, Pine Grove, when you're ready. Whoa. Got some distance on that one. Oh, boy, that's a straight one. That was good. So that was that long one was Chapel Hill. Yeah, the pan that was like a 3D experience with that panda bear. What did you get, Mr. Dunphy? 30 feet, one inch. 30 feet, one inch. Wow. I think we have a new leader. What did Chapel Hill have? Uh, Pine Grove. 20.3. Ooh! Force mass and momentum on that one. Holy smoke. It's got some crackage on that one. Yeah, that went end over end. Holy smoke. Chapel Hill, here we go, Chapel Hill. They got a long distance. Let's see if they can keep the crash. Mustang on the move, right on the flag right there, so you know who they are. Here we go. Nice, solid hit. Oh, we got a crack. Oh, no. So close. Little, little ding in it, huh? Ooh, that's not good. So coming up is Chase in lane one and Pinewood in lane two. Just as we're getting ready for those to start, one of the things that's coming up here in a couple of weeks, uh, the uh, BMI is getting a new exhibit. They're gonna have the dot on the eye 
from the Domino Sugar Factory, which is right across here. The size of that dot, if you can believe it, is six feet tall. Just the dot on the eye. That's crazy. Chase and Pinewood, when you're ready, go ahead. Little spin out and a wheel loss. The wheel's still going from the one car. Under the, uh oh, it went under the steamroller. Thirteen eight for Pinewood. Chase. Seven feet one inch. Six. Seven feet one inch. Okay. Yeah, we'll get our crash test going here. Okay. Pinewood. Pinewood. Ooh, good solid hit. Oh, okay. Safe. All right. Wow. Look at that. Kind of a feathery critter, isn't it? The mighty Mustangs. Mighty Mustangs. Here we go. Ooh, solid. Nice solid thump. This is your artistic one there. Safe, all right. Okay. So we're gonna take a couple minutes to get things reset. We're a little ahead of schedule. We wanna make sure the schools are coming up, get a chance to watch their uh, cars uh, run live. Uh, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes, folks. I'll let you Google over the trophy here for, for a little bit.
right, we're back. I'll flip this over. Coming up next, we're going to have the Chatsworth School and Powhatan Elementary School. Oh, and I think Powhatan, let's see here, I think Powhatan's in lane two. And Chatsworth is in lane one. When you're ready, go ahead. Whoa. Look at that go. Come on. Oh, my. Nice run on both of those. Very nice. I love that balloon, Paladin. I kind of wanted to see it drift off into the sky. Chatsworth. Thirty-eight feet. Oh my! Palatin, what they have? Fifteen point one. Chats for the schools up. Yeah, it does. Oh my. Egg is safe. Yay. I think that puts Chatsworth in the lead by almost eight feet. All right, just determining the front end of the uh, Palatin car here. Wow, look at that. The egg came out. Oh, I got a splat on that one. Oh, so close. You're unmuted. Okay, we were at, just a second. We had a, uh, a system failure here. We've been we, we were getting good at adapting to these in BCPS at this point. So we'll just we'll keep rolling here in a minute.
All right, we're back. Got a power outage to deal with on one of the cameras, so we're back here. All right, so just to update everybody, um, our current lead in total points is Chatsworth uh, with a run of 38 feet and no break. But our longest distance for the day goes to Battle Grove so far with 43 feet, one inch. All right, let's see if we got up next, we have Chesapeake Terrace and Pretty Boy. Go ahead. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my. Wow, what a run. And now I lost, I can't figure out who that was because they crossed over the lane. <laughs> Let's lane one. So that is Chesapeake Terrace. That was a long run there. Pretty boy is 16 feet. So I don't know how this is going to affect the future. 39.8. 39, oh, let's see if they get the crash test. Yeah, you're, you're like glitching and, and jumping, and you're not, you're not, you're not transmitting smoothly to your station. Okay. Yeah, it's going to affect the future. Let's keep it going. All right. Pretty boy. Uh oh, had a little flip over. Uh oh, any? Oh, splat on pretty boy. Let's see who. Chesapeake Terrace, let's see who do. Ooh, I saw that. Oh, no. I actually saw ejection on that one, like the yoke. Yeah. Oh, it. I actually saw the yoke come up out of the car. Hey, you gotta go. Go big. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So coming up next, we have Church Lane in Lane One in Riverview Elementary School in Lane Two. When you're ready, go ahead. Uh-oh, we're gonna spin out on one. Can't see two. Spin up. Oh, 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 look at that one. Oh my goodness. I love the simplicity. Ooh. <laughs> Church Lane, nicely done. Oh no, that that was um that was Riverview. Yeah, that's about as simple as you can get. What's our distance? 34.8. Nice solid run. What church line you get? I missed that distance for Church Lane. What was Church Lane's distance? Oh, still measuring. Nine feet, four inches. Okay. Ooh. It flipped all the way over and landed on the wheels. Wow. And it is safe. Wow. Unbelievable acrobatic car. What end over end? I've never seen that before. I've been doing this 10 years. I've never seen a car flip completely over. It must be like a cat that landed on its wheels. Church Lane. Oh, I heard the crack on that one. I heard the crack. Oh. He was already Wow. 
All right. My namesake school coming up here, Cromwell Valley Elementary and Rogers Forge Elementary School. When you're ready, let them rip. Oh my, oh my. He could go all the way. Oh my. Rogers Forge, holy smoke. That might be close to a 50 footer there. And Cromwell Valley had a nice run too. Wow. They're out past 30. 31.9. Wow, Rogers Forge is at 44 feet. Let's see how they do on the crash test. I think we have a distance winner at this point. All right, what we get? Solid hit, but did the egg survive? Safe, oh my, wow. what a turnover, holy smoke. Cromwell, here's a Cromwell, there's a Cromwell, here we go. Oh, flippage, check it out, see if it's safe. I like the pickup truck design. Safe, both safe, all right. Nice, okay. Coming up, coming up next, Deep Creek Elementary School and Sandy Plains Elementary School. When you're ready. Uh oh. That's never good when the egg goes further than the car. Ooh, nice run. Looks to be about in the 20 foot range there. So that's the lane two. So that's Sandy Plains. 17.2, just shy, just a little outside. For any of you Bob Euchre fans out there. <laughs> And deep creek. Do we measure the egg or the car? <laughs> Sandy Plains. Love the flag. Love the flag on it. That's great. Solid, nice bumper. Look at all that space. Nice big open space on that to absorb the hit. Oh my. Ooh. Oh. Catastrophic failure on the egg. Ooh. Did it 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 got it got caught on the dashboard, I think. Yes, exactly. Don't want to save this one. Ooh. <laughs> the albumin is coming out. Oh. Oh my. Someone call a baker. What was the uh, distance? Uh, six feet, six inches. Six feet, six inches. Deep Creek, here we go. Whoa. Ooh. Splat, oh my. I'm glad I got more eggs than I needed. Oh my. Oh, I'm not having omelets tomorrow. Okay, next one we have. Dundalk Elementary is our only car running on this one. Very excited, Dundalk. They tweeted out their, a photo of their car. I'm really anxious to see this one. I'm sure, Miss Koenig's very proud and anxious to see this. Go ahead. Oh, no. You got distance, but the egg was left behind. No egg left behind, kids. No egg left behind. That point, it's an autonomous car. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's an autonomous car. These are all autonomous cars. They're all self-driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard for an egg to drive because they don't have feet, twenty feet four inches. 
okay we'll get it down here for a crash test yet after a little wipe up off the floor we should probably should have emts waiting at hand here Humpty Dumpty and all that. Okay, here we go. Dundalk's crash test. Nice. We like it when it's simple for us to figure out. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Splat on that one. Oh, my. Ooh. Oh, so sad. All right, Elmwood. And sparks. When you're ready. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, woo! Almost had a cross. <laughs> that was pretty cool. We almost had our first crash on camera. That was pretty cool. Wow. 16.5. 16, 16, and that's for Sparks? 16.5, yeah, that was straight as an arrow. So we measure the straight distance out from the ramp because the goal here is to have a straight run. We don't want to have a curve and back and forth. You, you, know, you got to have a good front end alignment. Okay, for Elmwood. Okay, here's Sparks crash test, 16.5 on their distance. Ooh. Ooh, ow, ow, that hurt me. Ooh. It's not coming outside. Yeah, it's, yeah, we definitely got some leakage on that one. Uh, just, it just cracked the shell. Okay, Elmwood, what was your distance? 18 feet. Eight, 18 feet. Nice. Let's see if they survived the crash test. I like these compact designs. Look at that. Nice aeronautic. Uh oh, we had a flip, but it did survive. Did it survive? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I don't know. Because this is important in the crash, you got to be able to extricate the basket. Yeah, yeah, get the jaws of life. I can't get it out. Okay. Oh, splat. Oh, I thought for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not so good. Yeah. Oh, put that in the smoothie. That's nice. Okay. Coming up next is Essex and Sussex. Wow, how do we get that? Those schools ending in X. Essex and Sussex, when you're ready. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Dumpy's going to dodge that one. Whoa. All the way to the right. Wow, they all, they all veered off to the right. So you got to work on that front end alignment a little bit. But nice run, good straight. I mean, they, you know, they, they curved off the ramp there, but other than that, you know, good solid run. Looks about, I'm going to go 18. Pretty close on that one. We got 20 foot lines. If you haven't seen the, the tape marks on the line, there are 10 foot increments. We're having some discussion here about the exact distances because it's a little bit of a distance for us. All right, it's Essex. 17.5. Sussex. 17.3. Oh! Wow. That's amazing. All right, coming up next, we got Fifth District and Timonium. All right. Fifth District was our first car delivered this year too. So kudos to them for being the first to be uh, to be delivered out, out to the BMI. Here we go. Oh, crash test. 
I missed, I flipped a little too soon. Sussex is safe. And these are not hard boiled eggs. Just a bunch of hard boiled teachers here though. Pandas, okay, here we go. That's, did you say that's Essex? Yep, it's Essex. Essex. Oh, the tomato box, the tomato, or the blueberry box. Yeah. Wow. Wow, nice hit. Very cushiony. Got a lot of reverb on that one. It bounced back a little bit, solid. Safe, both safe, all right. Nice. All right, fifth district. Timonium, go ahead. Oh, look at this one go. Oh my. That's fifth district, isn't it? That's close to 43. Yep. That's, uh, we might have a contender here. We're going to run Timonium again here and see if we can get it because it spun out on the, off the ramp. There was an error on the ramp. Oh, nice, nice. Coming at you, Don, watch out. That's gonna be about 33. Yeah, what was your distance on, on fifth there? 41.6. 32? 32.3, my estimation's getting good. Now, so here's the, here's the balance. Fifth district had that great distance, and you've seen so far this morning the phenomena that we're going to try to track here is the further those cars go, a lot of times all that extra energy coming off of those cars gets pushed into the egg when it hits the wall. And that's where we get our big crack. So let's see here. Here's Timonium. Wow. Did it break the board? <laughs> Safe on Timonium. Nice. Fifth district. Okay. We'll use nine volts on that. These D cell batteries, upcycling old D cell batteries. Interesting. That had some mass to it. The fast blaster from Fifth District. All right, here we go. Ooh, nice solid hit, but it looked like pretty pretty safe. Wow. Safe. Wow. I think Rogers Forge is still in the lead, though. All right, coming up next, we got Glendon. And Vincent Farr. Whoa. Whoa. That's going to be 30 plus. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, nice curveball on that one. Okay, so that was, so the lead one was Glendon was that nice long run. And then Vincent Farm had that slight curve to it. So let's see what we got. Thirty-three, and that was uh, blended. Fourteen point seven for Vincent Farm. Okay, what's the farm have? Looks like pretty shiny. What's that back on there? What's that? What's the what's it made out of on the back? This is a Lay's stacks. Ah, a Lay's stacks. Potato chip canister. Okay, good upcycling. Let's see what they got here. Oh. Oh my. Do we have breakage? We have a bouncer rollover. Safe. Oh. So if you watch the intro video, you got a chance to see the teacher actually working with the students on the construction of the car uh, for Vincent Farms. That was great. Uh oh, that was a full ejection on that one. 
Would that be Dwight Yoakum? No? Oh, sorry. That's right. All right, up next we have Halstead Economy and West Town. All right, we're getting organized here. A little discussion about which car is up here. We're coming, we'll be here soon. All right, who do we have here? Lane two is West Town. West Town coming up here. And... Oh, Ooh, Papa Wheeler, give that one another go. Ooh, <laughs> same reaction. What's going on? <laughs> repeatable. repeatable data i'm sorry all right let's just see we get <laughs> each time the egg has survived so that's good oh wow yeah yeah you got repeatable data oh No, that doesn't that never happens we have two two cars do exactly the same thing five two I'll, I'll try and beat all the way to that. yeah we haven't had any go forward flip forward yet all the ones we're getting are flipping backwards this is west town going to come up for the crash test Oh, look at the flag. Very cool. What is that creature on there? Owls. owls. Okay, so we have some owls on there. Let's see. Oh, boy. Ooh, that was a splat. Ooh. Oh, my. Okay. We had a little bit of leakage on that last one. The uh, the floor of the BMI is getting a good polish today from wiping up all the eggs. Okay, 14 feet, one inch, 13, 13, one inch. That looked pretty good. I like the set of that one. I like the nice tall cup. Although the wind, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the windshield design on that one. Maybe it's by Periscope. It's safe. Safe. Nice. Okay, coming up, we have Hebville. Or do we have Hebville? Hebville. Okay, Hebville and White Oak. Whoa. Uh oh. Bam, right to the steamroller. Try that one again. Because I, I took a good hard turn. Uh oh, nice spin out on that one. Yeah, yeah redo, redo head bill. I want to see if we get, because that, it, it should have gone, I mean, it was interrupted by the steamroller. Normally, when you hit a steamroller with a car, the car doesn't survive, but in this case, it did. See if it takes that tur curve again. Okay, when you're ready. Ooh, nice, oh, nice. All right, we're gonna go with that one. To measure that one, that was pretty good. It didn't hit the C roller this time though, that's good. But it did curve off to the left again. White Oak, look at that decoration. That is an appealing looking car. Nice solid hit. Did it survive? 
Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, egg shrapnel on the ramp at this point. And it is safe. All right. Good job, White Oak. What was their distance? 10.5. Hepville. 35 3. 35 3 for Hepville. Nice job, Hepville. Speed racer, nice. Go speed, Go speed racer. That'll be in your headrest today. And this is a jewel in the back there. The jewel. Right, we, lost we lost a wheel, but I think the egg is safe. Let's see. Egg is safe. Yes. Nice long distance there. Okay. Coming up next, we have Joppa View and Woodbridge. When you're ready. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. You're kidding me. Both eggs came out on that one? Yes, we'd never get simultaneous events like this happening. Five five. Nine four. Okay. All right, we'll do our crash test down here. Oh, we just flipped over for a second. Our four polishing team out there. Woodbridge. Nice bright colors. Ooh! I got hit by a piece of shell. Oh, the paint came off the car. Safe. Wow. The, I've never seen this before. The paint broke off the car and flew out. I thought it was eggshell. It was just fluorescent green paint coming off the car. The egg is safe. Is that top of you? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Look at that thing. Looks like a submarine. Let's have a debate which the front end is the back end. Ooh! I think we have a new record for the distance for the ejection distance on a front egg. That went a good three, that went a good meter. I want to call that a meter. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close to a meter. All right. Turn them up on our last two cars today. We're really flying through. We have Wood Home and Johnny Cake Elementary. When you're ready. Whoa. It went, it was an S curve. Wow, look at that one. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, 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 almost a 50 footer. Whoa. What a photo finish for Woodhome. Nice job, Woodhome. Oh, now the tension. Do they survive the crash test? But what a run. What a run. Wow. I think we may have a distance leader. Forty-six four. I think we just have a new leader now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if we have we'll see if we have an epic finish here. All 
17-4. 17-4 for Johnny Cake. All right, Johnny Cake's going to go down first here. Here we go, Johnny Cake. Jaguar. A little upended, but I, I, oh, the egg came out right out the top. Very easy to get out of that car. Safe. All right. Oh, no. My daughter's going to be so upset. She was the one that colored our egg for this year. But nice thing is that it sets up now. <laughs> Okay, Woodhall, we're gonna watch here with the egg. Woodhall, can they do it? Oh, no! No! Oh! No! Oh! But we have, uh, but I think, I think they definitely won the distance. They actually have the distance. Um, so Woodholm walks out with a surprise ending of a distance of 46.4 feet. Whoa. All right, we're going to take a minute here to get our scores together, and we'll be right back for the awarding of our trophy. So we're going to let this sit here. we got one spot down here without a name on it. We're going to announce here in just a minute who our winner is. All right, the results are in. We're bringing out the, we're actually going to bring out the winning car. A little bit of coincidence involved in this one. So Mrs. Woods is bringing the car, the winning car for this year, for the 2021 Safe Racer virtual event back in the home where it was created. The winning car. Fifth district. Well, the coincidence was, you remember what I said? They were the first car dropped off. The whole thing was what an amazing event. First car dropped off takes first place. The distance goes to the last car, the longest distance. So, an amazing event. So, congratulations to Fifth District and Woodhull for a great safe racer event today. Thanks everybody, we're gonna see you live next year.